How well might light pass through a material? If it passes through readily, we say that the material is transparent. Glass, for example, is transparent. You can see right through it. Aluminum foil, by contrast, is not transparent. You can't see through a sheet of aluminum foil. We can talk about this in the reverse. We can ask, how well does a material block the passage of light? A material that blocks the passage of light is said to be opaque. Aluminum foil is opaque. That is, light can't pass through it. Light, as you should know by now, comes in many different frequencies, as spelled out by the electromagnetic spectrum. There are ultra-high frequency gamma rays, to x-rays, to ultraviolet, to visible light, to infrared, to microwaves, and then to radio waves. These are all forms of light, generically called electromagnetic radiation. Here's the deal. The transparency or opacity of a material depends not only on the material, but also upon the frequency of light. Say you're enjoying a beautiful campfire. Then someone places a large pane of glass between you and that campfire. What do you notice? You can still see the campfire, but what about the warmth from that campfire? While visible light passes right through the glass, toasty warm infrared light does not. While you can still see the campfire, no longer can you feel its heat. So glass is not uniformly transparent to all frequencies. It may be transparent to visible light, yeah, but it's opaque to infrared. What about our atmosphere? Here's a chart showing to what frequencies our atmosphere is transparent. The first thing to notice is that, like any material, its transparency depends upon the light frequency. Look at this narrow band around the visible frequencies. Yes, the atmosphere is transparent to visible light, but not to immediately higher or lower frequencies. Let me ask, why are our eyes sensitive only to visible light and not infrared or ultraviolet? Well, we evolved here on Earth's surface. So it makes sense that we evolved to be sensitive to the light most abundant here on the Earth's surface. Our sensitivity to what we call visible light, it's a consequence of our atmosphere's transparency profile, as well as, I might add, to the sun's spectrum, which peaks right around the frequency of yellow-green, to which our eyes are most, most sensitive. Which is why emergency vehicles are also often painted yellow-green. It's all connected. Good energy. Mm-hmm.